Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve a system restore error 0x8007002 that you might be getting on your Windows computer. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you're going to do is open up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt for CMD, and you want to go ahead and right click on it. Left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. And in this elevate command line window, you want to go ahead and type in chk dsk space forward slash and then type a capital R, and then you want to do another space it's forward slash capital F space forward slash capital R exactly as it appears on my screen so again CHK DSK space forward slash capital F and then you want to do another space forward slash capital R hit enter on your keyboard so you will actually have to run check disk and schedule for the next time your system restarts you're gonna to have to type the Y key on your keyboard hit enter so it will scan the next time you restart your computer Let this run after you've restarted your computer and hopefully it'll find and fix any corrupt files that it detects. If you're still experiencing problems, so let's say you run this, you should restart your computer at this point. And if you're still experiencing problems after you've restarted your computer after running that scan, you want to go ahead and open up the start menu again. Type in CMD. Right click on command prompt. Left click on run as administrator like we did before. Left click on yes here. Now we are going to run the system file checker utility. So we're going to just type in SFC space forward slash scan now exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out in front. Hit enter on the keyboard. This will take some time to run. You do not have to restart your computer in order to begin the scan. So again, let it run. Hopefully it will be able to resolve the issue as well. And I would suggest restarting the computer once it's done, even if it doesn't ask you to. And hopefully that should be able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.